and he's looking across this valley, and he said, um, I didn't see it the first time. He said, but the second time, I could see it standing up against, standing by a tree, same description, that it was black, round head, looked like no neck, shoulders, long arms, and he says it was looking right at me. Well, he had a shotgun in his hand, so he, he pulled that shotgun up, and he's going to let this thing have it. He said, he said, as soon as I pulled that shotgun up and got this thing in my sights, he says, this thing took a step toward me. He said, when it did that, he said, my knees turned to jelly. He says, my knees just buckled, and I dropped to the ground. He says, that moment of hesitation, this thing took off through the woods. And I said, well, how fast did it run? He said, well, it ran as fast as a deer. But the only difference is, is the little trees, it didn't run around them. It just ran over them. Then it started screaming. He says, what well, didn't really sound like this. It was a different scream. And he said, the farther away that it got from me, he said, the louder and meaner the scream sounded. Well, right away I'm hearing that. I'm thinking, well, that's almost like primate behavior. Because I, 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 I've had baboons and worked with baboons. You know what a baboon will do? In Africa, when they first come on a pride of lions, male baboon will, oh, 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 tells the other baboons there's danger close by. But the farther away they get from those lions, the braver the baboons become. It's kind of like a bully in a playground. So they, they, they just really can't. So he said, this thing just started screaming louder and louder the farther away it got. Well, his dad had all this come down, so his dad comes to find him. This kid's a mess. I mean, he's slain.